Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I'm here with Nikayla again. And today <laughs> we're going to be filming You Know Your Gymnast When. And basically these are things that gymnasts will understand and if you understand them, you're a gymnast. <laughs> Enjoy! Number one. You never make plans with people. Hello? Hi. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm just, I'm really busy with homework right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Friday, I have gym, sorry. Yeah, maybe another time, though. Okay, thank you. Bye. Number two. You eat like three meals after training even though people assume that gymnasts eat really healthy. <laughs> Number three. You have a new pain every single day. Oh. Oh. Number four. You point your feet all the time even though you don't mean to, it's just automatic. Number five. You stand with your feet like this. <laughs> Like and present. Like nice. Ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next for picture day. Alright, um, could you just stand in a natural position? Um. Number six. Everything cracks. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that was good. Number seven. You're always walking on your hands. Number eight. People like to tell you they did gymnastics. You know um, that they're not a true gymnast if they say they did gymnastics no. <laughs> rather than I was a gymnast. Yeah. yeah. Miss Walters, just so you know, I'm not going to be here tomorrow because I'm at a gymnastics competition. Gymnastics? Oh my gosh, I did gymnastics. I was like, my favorite thing was the bars. Do you do that? Oh, uh, yeah. Which, do you like specialize in one or? Um, yeah, I, I do them all. So. Oh, all of them? Nice. And like, are you an elite? Because I, I, I almost went elite, but I just, I decided to move on to other things, you know? Oh, okay. Number nine. People always ask you when you're going to the Olympics or if you're going to go to the Olympics. It's pretty tragic. <laughs> it's like, makes you feel it's like <laughs> disappointment ever. <laughs> oh my god, like that is amazing. Thank you. When are you going to the Olympics? <laughs> oh, that's... It's like not anywhere good enough to go to the Olympics. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Number 10. People ask you if you can show them a backflip. If you're a gymnast, you don't call it a backflip. Uh, a backflip is a very broad category. <laughs> okay, we do a lot of backflips. Yeah. Hey, Sarah, how did you do at your gymnastics meet? Oh, it was really good. Thanks for us. Oh, nice. So, like, can you do a backflip? Like, like a side flip thingy? Is that what you do? Oh, yeah, like we do back tucks. Number 11. <laughs> Secretly like to show off. <laughs> Every gymnast, you know, I yeah. love to show off. Like, we can do way cooler things than the average people, so. So, those are all your medals? <laughs> yeah, well, just the ones from last year. Oh, wow, that's like, so good. Oh, thanks, I know. Oh, um, oh. Sometimes you just need to stretch out a little. Most of them are gold, actually. Oh. 
Oh, do you want a snack? Uh, sure. Oh. Wow, that's amazing. We have like cereal. Number 12. <laughs> People think your hands are gross. Mmm. Mmm. Crusty. Mm. Mine aren't actually that bad. Yeah, mine are pretty good. We're pretty. We're mean. But like bad Megan's hands. hands. Yeah, you should like, see they're some just like teammates. ripped to shreds and like dry like AF. That. Oh, hey, Kyle. Hey, babe. I had a really good time last night. Oh, yeah, me too. God, what is wrong with your hand? Oh, it's just, they're callous. Like, I'm a gymnast. So. Ooh, crusty AF. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Number 13. Daydream about gymnastics in class. I can attest to this one because yes. most of middle school, <laughs> I would just imagine being at training. Up late doing homework? Where are we? Um, yeah. Right. Number 14. <laughs> you're at the gym every night, and when you're not, you wish you were. <laughs> Ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. Number 15. You have more gym suits than pants. <laughs> Pick a suit. Oh, these ones it is, I guess. Number 16. You never wear your hair down. Like, gymnasts wear their hair down, but you will never see someone wearing this to school. <laughs> yeah, like, no, like a non gymnast. I remember like... someone told me in my class that I looked like a samurai. <laughs> it's a gymnast thing, it's the gymnast bun, the yeah. floppy bun. Okay, what hairstyle today? Oh, I know. Perfect. Number 17. You always need extra time for your homework or like you never hand in things on time. Because or you're just up all night because you have training every yeah. night. People in my class who say that they didn't get their homework done, I'm like, there's no excuse for that because I was training and I still yeah, got it done. Yeah, and they're like, I have swim practice. And it's like, oh, was that like an hour long? All right, now we're roasting <laughs> other sports. This is going to get hated. <laughs> Let's get into some cheerleading roasting. Let's see how many comments we get. Well, honestly, we train for like, we're there for four and a half hours. And then we get home and we eat. And it's like 9.30. <laughs> Number 18. <laughs> the gym mom drama is more toxic than the teenage girl drama. <laughs> oh my god, how nice is this? A nice away from the kids. I know. Ugh, cheers to that. Oh my god, did you hear that Susie is going level 9 again this year? Like she's won the past four westerns god. and here we go again. Ridiculous. I mean, maybe if she would take more turns, you know, I just see her talking a lot with the other girls when my girl could be on the bars. Well, they're only like eight, so it's important to gain like social skills still. Well, I mean, my daughter, like, she was only seven when she made her first, um, her first real team, so. But like, Caitlin, Caitlin just like the gym hopper, eh? Hey? Like, come I know, on, pick, seriously. pick one. Of course, you go to the Star Academy, that's great. She didn't like the coaches, she moved, whatever. But then you wonder how many <laughs> times. <laughs> yeah, her body is just like, it's not doing her any good. No, it's almost like a, a broken car at this point. Like, it's. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, there's still, there's still gas in it, but it's, it's struggling to move, you know? It's breaking down and, and you know, it's unfortunate because she did have her prime year up but yeah. like, five surgeries though later and you're still holding a spot that my kid could be thriving in. Exactly. You know, team leader, whatever. Move on. Like try and, and I, across. Like, I know our little girls like 
we need the most attention because yeah, we're the ones that are going things. places. Like, oh, it looks like my wine's uh, <laughs> topping up. Oh, yeah. coaches seem to think that mm, her yeah. double back off bars is a little unsafe yeah. just because one time she landed on her neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, a neck. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do without my best gal? Oh my god, our gym mom shirts came in the mail. Oh my god, I love you. Let me show you. Okay, okay. okay. Number 18. Your hands no chalk better than lotion. I still have chalk embedded in my hand lines. <laughs> I mean, I showered. <laughs> 19. You have more sports bras than regular bras. No. Yep. 21. <laughs> 21. You've had the worst day ever, but you still train because it's home. Oh, sweetie, what's wrong? Kyle broke up with me. And like, I just have so much homework. And I'm just struggling with school and everything seems to just be going wrong. Oh, well, then maybe you should stay home tonight. No, no, I, I have to go to gym. I want to go to gym. 22. You spend more time with your gym friends than your own family. I basically see my family rarely before school and then after school for like an hour or two. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Going to training. See you in 10 years. 23. You go to bed way earlier than anyone, like, normal person. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a generalization, but I would say for the most part, gymnasts who have early morning trainings or whatever will go to bed at an earlier time, whereas kids in your school might go to bed at, like, 1 o'clock or later. Yeah, like, people will be like... Oh my god, I only got, like, four hours of sleep. I'm like, what could yeah. you have been doing? But we have like... <laughs> pretty intense trainings every day, so... Oh my god, 8 o'clock. You follow way more gymnasts online than regular people. 25. You take a million handstand pictures when, wherever you are. Vacation, outings, like anything. 26. <laughs> vacation is stressful and what I mean by this is that when gymnasts go on vacation not only are we missing training but we're not working out at all really when we're on vacation so then we know that we're falling behind especially if this yeah. is close to competition season and for normal people you know vacation is relaxing. supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> Honey I have a surprise. What? We are going to Disneyland in March. In March! Mom, I have Western Trials in March. I can't go on vacation. Oh my god, like, how am I gonna get my skills? How am I gonna get my routine? Like, I'm not gonna be ready for competition, and you just said that we had to go to You ungrateful slut! 27. You stress on your days off. So, like, when you're not in the gym, and, like, being able to be productive and work on your skills, it's just, like... wash my car, I have to do my social assignment, I have to finish my science project, hmm, but it's my day off and I want to take a bath and relax, clear my mind. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you're a gymnast and you want us to do any other gymnastics related videos, let us know in the comments below and we will try to do that for you. Thank Bye. You so <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Peace. You gotta do the video. My name's like, what is it? Sharon? Sharon <laughs> Sharon. I heard that she was telling the other girls <laughs> that they look fat in their comp suits. <laughs> You oh. mm -hmm. okay? Then, yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it, oh. okay, even if you're labeled the Jim Hopper. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Some people are never satisfied. <laughs> you know when you just like have morning training. <laughs> <laughs> but then you never actually go. Yeah, Michaela never shows up. So I don't I'm, know I'm gonna saying. get better. I'm gonna remember that it's a thing. And oh, okay. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know what Hey, Kyle. Hey, babe. Oh, yeah. I, I thought you were going to do that thing. Oh, well. And then you reach for my head. Okay. Woo! It's spicy. And that bitch, like, Brittany, like. Oh. Sorry, I just gotta go get my. <laughs> I'm just gonna go great film. <laughs> Almost like you wonder how many clubs is she gonna switch to? <laughs> <laughs> I have to fart. Oh god. Here my husband's off doing his soul cycle and I'm yeah. driving her to her I next was gonna meet. Say that. Driving She's her to her next great oh, by the way. But you know after <laughs> But you know after Jared's death. It's just like, oh my god. <laughs> Someone's died. <laughs> and money's tight, and I'm, it's just like, uh, I'm so glad I have like you guys. You know what? You could be in a worse situation. I mean, look at Sydney. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to keep the consistency on where your lips go. Sorry, just a wine tip. You know, I've been a little addicted since the accident. Can we just hug it out? I, yeah, I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you. I had swim practice, and it's like, oh, was that like an hour long?